The city unveiling a strategy to curb crime in Edmonton's downtown and on transit. This comes as city council voted to reinstate loitering bylaws and crack down on open drug use on transit Wednesday. But those helping Edmonton's vulnerable tell me taking a heavy-handed approach is a step backwards. Punitive damage is to somebody who is already damaged. You know, how, how is that any right? Gail is part of an outreach team helping vulnerable Edmontonians connect with supports they need. She tells me City Council reintroducing enforcement of the loitering bylaw is a step backwards, but adds transit stations being completely open is what spurred the issue of open drug use, saying the city could have handled it better. Had they, like... Um cornered off an area, um, had it attended, take names and make sure that that body actually leaves in one piece when, they're, when they wake up and watch over them as they sleep, not have it a, a drug den. Gail adds that street outreach and monitoring has a more positive impact not only on Edmonton's vulnerable population, but also deterring crime. On the transit side of the issue, Union President Steve Bradshaw says the city's plan to address crime on the LRT is too little, too late. I don't want to put words into anyone's mouth, but in an apparent effort to, uh, to appease the provincial government, uh, who frankly uh, are very quick to, to uh, uh, issue orders and not so quick uh, to provide the resources to back up those orders. Bradshaw adding that bringing back enforcement of the loitering bylaw may look good, but doesn't properly equip transit peace officers to deal with criminal behavior or get them the supports they need. For example, uh, the uh, Mental Health Act. And, uh, for example, um, uh, arresting uh, for outstanding warrants, uh, arresting on uh, for simple uh, criminal acts like uh, assaults and, and, and robberies and so on. They don't have the authority right now to do that. Why not? It makes no sense. Thursday afternoon, Edmonton Mayor Amarjeet Sohi and the city manager unveiling Edmonton's response to Justice Minister Tyler Shandro's request on a plan to deal with downtown and transit crime. The city laying out a number of new initiatives like increased police presence downtown, community outreach, cleanup and support for Chinatown, as well as more access to public washrooms and supports to Edmonton's vulnerable population. Gail, Bradshaw and the mayor all making the same point, the province needs to increase funding for shelter space, addiction treatment, and other social supports in order to treat the root cause of social disorder. The mayor saying his office's research shows Calgary receives 50% more funding for shelter space than Edmonton. Uh, to work in areas where there are their area of responsibility to help uh, fund uh, end houselessness, mental health addictions crisis that we are facing. So we look forward to the conversation that uh, we would have with them, but I am confident that uh, we have put together a very complex comprehensive plan. Premier Jason Kenney responding Thursday saying he's glad City Council has listened to Edmontonians on crime issues. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.